Welcome back to Legit Street Cars. Today, we are about a thousand miles away from my home in Chicago at a farm in Florida. A chicken farmer has invited me out here because he has a collection of about 20 cars that are all sort of abandoned. He claims they're in really good condition though. And although I came out here to buy an auction car, which you guys are gonna see in a future video, this chicken farmer promises me that I'll like one of his cars more than the car that I flew down here to buy and fix. Wait till you see that one. Yeah. So, without further ado, the chicken farmer is going to walk us around. We're gonna check out some of these cars. We're gonna see if any of them are worthy for legit street cars, and I'm going to see Hurry up, buddy. if any of them need any work. <laughs> He claims they're in good shape, but I don't believe him. All right, Sam, so you know I'm a sucker for GM and LS power plants. This is new to you. It could be new to me, but what is this? It's a C6. C6 Z51 package, oh, yeah. 3LT. You couldn't get any, well, you could get a Z06, but you couldn't get any Corvette better than this besides a Z06. As a convertible. As a convertible, well, they, is it yes. A, is it a manual? Well, you know, it's no, it's not, but it still runs and drives just okay. great, dandy. All right. Two sets of keys, mind you. Ooh, this thing's been used. Oh, well, I mean, it's it's American Wait, interior. What year is it? 2007. Okay. So Don't focus on the year. Last year, the LS2, but it has the six-speed automatic and not the 4L65. Hold on, I thought this is a four speed. Up. I mean, I don't want to no, down this be, but no, if it's the, got a six speed, it might be a dual clutch for all I know, Alex, okay? <laughs> From what I remember, the 05 was the only C6 that still had the four speed that carried over from the C5. So this has the paddle shifters. It should be the six speed automatic, decent transmission, especially in stock form. Uh, the steering wheel needs a little love. Is this place good? That place is amazing, actually. Okay. All right, I gotta try that out. Yeah. So this this may be a two or a three LT because it's got heated seats and navigation it's and a, heads up display. It's a three LT, and that is proven by the sticker in the glove box. Nice. Actually. Yeah. So I think the only I think the only thing it's missing is the um, mag ride because it doesn't have the adjustable selector thing. Listen, buddy, I don't know anything about a big that discount. except I'm gonna give you a good deal on this. Totally wait a minute, loaded. Wait a minute. Let me Near see the keys. Mint Corvette. Let me see the keys. How it many? runs. It runs. I promise. And mileage? Don't. I mean, it's it's got mileage. It's used car. You know. Okay. It's something like a quarter million or something. Like that. A what? I would say like around I don't know a quarter million miles. Something a like that. You know. Quarter million. All right, come on, Chevy. We know what you are. Driver one. You got to hit trip. Oh, there you got to go. hit trip on the 257,000 miles. <laughs> yeah, just 257,000 is just getting broken in. It's an LS car, Alex. Let me tell you, because I know you own a bunch of exotics. Would any of your exotics have made it this far? Well, Only a Corvette can go that many miles with this kind of performance. Well, to be fair, a Ferrari would do a quarter million miles, but you might put about 25 engines in it in yeah, that Yeah, it would time cost frame, you yes. multiple quarter millions of dollars to maintain it that far. Everything works in I it. I gotta say, we're starting off, we're starting <laughs> off pretty good here, Sam. No engine lights on the dash. I mean, this is this is as close to a, a huh. two L, what do they call that, an LS2 cream puff? It's an gonna, LS2? I no, was don't, gonna, don't, give was, me those, okay. give me those. Those are, I was gonna yeah. say, can we pop the hood? No, you can't pop the hood, I guess, those are, I guess I'm not. getting those fixed one day. Okay. And you know, one of the best things about this car, Alex, is even at a quarter million miles, the AC works really, really well. Wow, and it's dual zone. Also, this does work really, really well. Almost as well as my favorite app, Truebill, which is an all-in-one finance app for busy people. And let me tell you, this app saves me a ton of time. And it also saves me a lot of money in a few different ways. The first is budgeting. With Truebill, you can set up a budget that automatically monitors your spending by category so you can visualize your spending and keep it in check. With Truebill, you can set up custom savings plans that automatically deposit money into smart savings accounts on the app and you can withdraw at any time. My favorite is their subscription canceling feature. Truebill identifies recurring charges and if you want to cancel a subscription, you just tap cancel and they do all the work. No more jumping through hoops to cancel something that you don't use anymore. So if you guys are busy like me and you're ready to save a lot of money and a lot of time, then try out Truebill by clicking on my link in the video description box or going to truebill.com slash L streetcars. And I want to say a big thank 
thanks to Truebill for supporting automotive content creators like myself. Now, Sam, as much as this AC feels really, really nice, we have some more cars to look at. I'm not sure if I'm a huge convertible automatic fan, look at this. but we're starting off really nicely, Sam. Four matching tires, baby. Four matching tires. I didn't even get that on that Aston Martin I bought. Michelin's. Michelin. This is nice. This is nice. All right. This is seriously a fun car. I'm to think about it. What do you got in the Euro world? Got a whole slew of things whole, that way, my yeah. friend. Don't ignore these. <laughs> All right, Sam. I saw some of the videos on this guy. And a lot of people tell me I should buy an Audi, specifically an S4. B8, S4. You know how many people wrote me to buy this car after doing the videos on it? I swear, probably over a dozen. Because it's, well, we made it better than it was new. And uh, it's pretty quick. It's a sports sedan bargain. Sports sedan bargain. One nice thing with the S4 is like in this one in particular, it's got the carbon fiber uh, interior, which you don't see on most of them actually. It's got a lot of the options, but past that, these cars just come with like really nice Recaro sports seats and they're comfortable driving cars. It's not like an M car. It's not super harsh. It's a little bit muted to be honest. I like that, and for Chicago winters, it's got all-wheel drive. All right. So it's tough to beat as a daily driver, and it's a V6, so you get really good mileage in it Will it when start? you're not romping on it. Uh, heck yeah, it'll start. Wow, confident in that. All right, let's see. Woo! Sounds pretty good. Army tricks. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. 90,000 miles. I like it. See, I really like it. The only thing I got to say is that if I'm gonna get one of these B8s, I want the facelift. Come on, man. Don't hate on the B8, the original. This, this is this is what, a 2012? This is, right? Well, I don't even know what you See, if you go to, to the honest. 13, it's, it's facelift. This is a 12. It's much better. We gotta pop the hood. I'll show you some of the stuff I did. So, the OG Supercharge V6, three liter. It looks mainly stock, right? Except for our carbon fiber integrated e engineering. <laughs> Air Hold filter. On. Hold on. What do you see? Did you did you have the blower off? No. Wait, hang on. So you're saying the gasket, you can see the supercharger gasket on Alex, the Alex, I had a parts one of these. Come on. And I swear to you, you can even see it on this side too, if I recall. It's underneath, it's unfortunately. Like make this a thing. gasket. But no, the gasket hangs over. Everybody's gonna mm. think I put that on there. The furthest we went is we took the crank pulley off and the supercharger pulley off. Didn't take the blower off, so I wouldn't have done that. I say it like really like I did do that. Guys, I did not do this. I did not do this. <laughs> Alex doesn't believe me. I kind of um, don't believe him. This is what makes beautiful blower wine. Seriously, these things, when you're running them hard, it sounds... It sounded oh, amazing in your cast. videos. I, I was a big fan when I saw that. And considering this isn't like the top of the line, you know, an RS model or something crazy, these are very capable because you can, what, 500 horsepower or something Let me like that? tell you, the Audi S3 and S4 platforms, in my opinion, are just as fun as the RS7. The RS7 having like a huge amount of horsepower. These don't have as much, but they're so much lighter, smaller. They still launch as hard. And again, it's a very, very usable daily car. And it's right. got like darn near 500 horsepower with bolt-ons. We put those on... Sage and I, and probably like, I don't know, four or five hours, everything. Now this one, I need, I need to get a warranty out of you. Does this come with a no. warranty? No. Heck does no, nothing air, comes with a warranty. Does the air conditioning work? Absolutely. Okay, because I've realized that it's everything hot. Works it's hot in Florida, guys. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know it was gonna be the, I'm all wearing the jeans AC, out here. AC works on all my cars but one. That's I won't tell you which one. You'll have to figure it out on a test drive. <laughs> We're not taking any of them for a test drive without cash in hand, Alex. All right, we have a couple BMWs. I know about the 335i because we fixed part of it in yeah. my garage. That though, I'm a sucker for blue cars. I actually just bought a new blue daily driver that I haven't revealed to you guys. I will shortly, uh, some of you won't like it, but I love the blue and that's got the red interior you said, right? Red interior, this is That's actually nice. a car. Well, you know what it is? It well, hey, it, it's an X6, and it's got an M badge in the back, but it doesn't have the, the proper wheels. It's got the exhaust, and I'm about to walk into some cow poo here. <laughs> so look at the M badge on the back. Let's start with that, because that's a good thing. Did they come with, what color were BMW M stripes? Definitely not that color, right? Yeah, this BMW thing, is red. White and blue, isn't it? Is it? Like I, honestly, I don't really remember off the top of my head, M. but I don't know. But this is about to fall off. So this screen is like definitely. replica or fake. It M, looks but... like an X6M replica. But if we come around to the interior to the front, this is a genuine X6M. Somebody kind of had their way with this car. I think they took some of the stuff that they enjoyed off of it, like the really nice 
20 inch rims that this car comes with. It still does have the side M badge with the turn signals. Oh, so there's the colors right and there. There you go. And We're, is it supposed to have big brakes like this? This doesn't look like very M-like. It doesn't look M-like, but whenever I looked up another M X6 or M X5 M, the brakes don't look special. They don't okay. have these big elaborate painted calipers that even come on the BMW hybrids nowadays. And if you look at the front fascia, it's got the M fascia. And if you look under the, the hood, you've got, you've got a few surprises, but you definitely have the S63. It's got power. It's got a power. That oil cap gives it more power. How much I couldn't tell you, but, and don't just ignore that, that yeah. crack right there. Okay. So what's, what's up with this one? S63 twin turbo. This is the same engine out of an M5 and, and it runs when it wants to. I'll just tell you that. Okay. So this was an auction car, right? Uh, yeah, I got it at the auction and like I said, it, it'll what, run. What was its primary issue? Uh, literally like an issue. That's yeah. what they said. Like this car comes with an issue and it was yeah. half the price of what a normal one would cost in this condition, this yeah. mileage. And it was totally nondescript. This car comes with an issue. Sometimes they get specific at the at <laughs> some auctions and they'll give you the code. And other times they give you this and it has a hole back here. Sam, what's up with the hole? Looks like someone tried to pry something open right here. That is not normal. That wasn't me. That could be the issue. And that if that is the it. issue, that'd be, you know, as long as there's no hole deeper down in there. As long as something didn't come up to create that hole, we're in good shape. <laughs> well, Alex, uh, you know, we're in Florida. I know a little bit about guns. That is definitely an entrance hole. Okay. Okay. Right, that is right. not an, an exit hole. This car seriously uh, wasn't an issue car and it does run and drive again when it wants to, it does very weird things. And like Alex said, specific codes. Well, if you were to scan it, it would give you not very many specific codes. You would have dozens and dozens and quite possibly over a hundred codes, but that'd be good for, you know, that yeah. code reader you got. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I usually don't shy away from problem cars, but can we, can we move on from this one? No. I'm scared. I wanna go elaborate. This is a BMW Lemon Law buyback, 20,000 miles ago at 90,000 miles. Huh. What manufacturer would buy back a car with 90,000 miles? It makes it's, it's no sense. It's got to be a CPO car, a certified pre-owned car. I shouldn't say Lemon Law buyback. Maybe it wasn't Lemon Law, but it was bought back by BMW because of the blue smoke issue, which could be valve seals, could be an entire engine. Yeah, but that was why it was bought back and then the history disappears. So this car is truly a mystery. And yeah. Alex, the mystery could be yours for, uh, I don't know, Say like 15 grand. 15 grand. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, my budget's more around 10. So I think uh, I've been priced out of this one automatically. Darn. <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> Alex, I got one more car for you to check out. It's quite possibly the best one. My concierge is bringing it up right now. But is that an XFR? That is a supercharged V8 Jaguar XFR. Very rare car. You don't see a lot of these. This one's got well under 100,000 miles. Okay, right. This is the one you've told me about this car. Wow, is this obsidian black? Oh, oh it is. It's like, it, I mean, that's what they call it. Mercedes calls it, but it's like a metallic black, a supercharged V8, 20 inch wheels that say supercharged. We got the hood scoops that say supercharged. supercharged wheels everywhere. Cool. Wow, this is cool. This is definitely my favorite so far. I don't know much about them, but if it's got a factory blower and a V8, it's tunable. Tunable, pulleyable, and it's pretty fast stock, man. And I got to tell you, something that they changed to make this car really good from the old Jaguars of old is the transmission. Shifts like lightning. ZF six speed. Nice. It works really good, and the transmission's reliable. Wow. Now it's got a little noise going on here. Is that an yeah, exhaust leak? I mean, it's a Jaguar, so you know. So it's, it's got. It's like a. It's like a growl. You know? Okay. Okay. That's normal. That? All right. Oh, I like that. Just staring at you all day long. A little weird. My kids would like that. All right, so we're gonna go for a ride in the Jaguar. That's how I say it. Everybody it's will It's Jaguar. I know it's Jaguar or whatever. I'm from Chicago. We say Jaguar. So yeah, I guess we spell it J-A-G-W-I-R. Jaguar. That's what we if say. If you're a real Englishman, you yeah. say Jaguar. Jaguar. I, I, yeah. I can't do it. I can't do it, all right? That's just how I talk. All right, wow, this is interesting. So we're in drive and 84,000 miles, not bad. That's smooth. No misfire. The transmission shifts really nice so far. And this one, you said the air conditioning is having some issues, right? You remember I told you I have one car where the uh, AC doesn't work this well. This is it. This Darn. might be it. All right, Alex, give yourself some room and give this thing a rip. What's the, what's the horsepower? 510. 
I don't know how many torques. All right, we're gonna have to make this quick because the air conditioning does not work. Get the windows up, here we go. Oh, got Oops. a little sideways. Traction on, oh, there we go. Oh, nice shifts. Oh, this is beautiful. It's smooth. And the <laughs> brakes work too. We're definitely testing the brakes here. Brembo's. Knock, knock the rust off. Wow, it's it accelerates and it stops and it's quiet and it's smooth. And it's got a little noise, but you know what? When you actually do like exhaust mods in this car, it sounds nasty. Supercharged V8, you know how that'll sound with the right. exhaust mods. So it'll actually have a little bit of a, a little Jaguar growl a, a to it. A little bit. A little bit. And you know, if you really, really want to get classy, you could put a, ho ho a hood ornament on it. Oh yeah, you got to do that. <laughs> you know what they call that hood ornament? What's that? The leaping growler. Wow. You, if yeah. you go to the dealership, and you want a hood ornament for your Jaguar XF, say, I need a leaping growler. You say it so well, Sam. See, I, Jaguar. I think before I buy one of these cars, I have to I have to learn Jaguar, Jaguar. 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 That's Jaguar. how, that's how you Jaguar. would say it if you were in England, Jaguar. Okay. All right, English, Jaguar. How was that? Is that pretty good for pretty a Chicago good. guy? I think it's decent. So yeah, overall, I, I like the car, it's comfortable. It's big. This could be an excellent daily driver if it had air conditioning. And it's got heated and cooled seats. It's got a really nice uh, Bang & Olufsen stereo, right? Yeah. Or no, no, I'm sorry. It's got a, uh, I don't know. Ba Bowers & Wilkins. Bowers & Wilkins. Which is just as good as, <laughs> It's okay. just as good, okay. <laughs> I love the names. I love the names. Uh, but yeah, no, I like it. I like it. This is definitely up there. I got to practice my Jaguars um, before I can buy one of these. But overall... This is that that's it's getting there. It's to the top of the list. I don't know if it beats out the auction car that I've already purchased and I'm committed to, but uh, I guess only time will tell. All right, Alex, this is a uh, well, it's an interesting one. It's been collecting leaves for a little bit of time, yeah. not a lot of time. Whoa, what's going on here? Steering wheels on the wrong side. <laughs> that's right. Everybody sees this, they think that it's a SC300, but it is not. This is a true twin turbo. 1JZ Toyota Sora. Okay, so fun fact, I've never sat in a right-hand drive car. Well, now you have. This is my first time. But you're sitting in the left-hand well, seat. Well, I know, I know, I know, but this is so weird. Wow. Like, what is going on here? This is crazy. I couldn't imagine driving a stick shift on well, that side. it's actually, Alex, like, second nature. So I got this car for the first two weeks or so, I daily drove it. How, I mean, how is it driving on the highway? Is it weird? Totally totally normal oh. you get used to it like this in my opinion now i've only had a couple automatic right hand drive cars i don't particularly love like this car because my head touches the roof and it's kind of small it drives really darn good for a 1992 you would think it was built in the early 2000s that's toyota quality for you no this is this is cool man the, wow the, when the, you turn when the battery works and you turn the column on it looks like a video game it's very futuristic the the gauges are nothing like the lexus it's american counterpart lexus and it's unique you know yeah no i like this one a lot i stole this car i don't even want to i'm i'm going to tell your audience just because i will i'm not selling you this one i paid less than two grand for the car in japan That's insane. it cost me about the same amount of money to ship it over a thousand something so right around three grand a little under got this car into the state and this is a turbo right twin turbo twin turbo yes automatic automatic but is, it, is it basically the super engine is it yeah well it's the earlier super engine. okay okay and then you could put a manual transmission in it but of course with the prices today i mean that transmission was probably a couple grand a few years ago and it's probably double that now is my guess I but like you it. could swap it pretty simply as far as i understand and you know what's funny is the japanese cars the japanese auctions are not like american auctions they will not sell you a car unless it's in really good condition it could have like oil weepage but if it has any really heavy oil leak they won't put it on the boat to get over here because they don't want any contamination on the boat wow yeah I didn't know that. So you're yeah. automatically getting a good car. This actually is the, this car, you're looking at the condition of it sitting on a tree for how long. This is the worst condition you could buy it in. It's called an R condition, which means it's been previously repaired. And here's your previous repair here. The quarter panel had a little paint work here and a little body work. You could see the fill job is not bad. Um, and it was then dented in after the fact too. But I had a PDR guy actually come out, take the, the dent portion of it out when he did, took the cheap paint off of with yeah, it. Yeah. But this is literally a, I was gonna get the, a cheap paint job on this car. And as time went on, as people commented, 
I kind of admired that like it's all original. It's really nice. So if it does get refinished in my hands, it'll probably have a halfway decent paint job, not by me, by Sage, of course. I don't know if I can get used to the, the steering wheel thing, but uh, no, I like it. This is cool. This is cool. For the price, it's really tough to yeah. be. And like everybody's heard that, you know, initially I bought it and I put it online. This is one of these cars that literally you're just looking at stuff online at two in the morning and it's go, this is this cheap? Okay, I'll take it. You're not gonna sell it. To no, they sold it to me. It showed up and I put it on uh, Instagram. People, oh my God, you didn't buy that for, you're lying, you're this, that. And I'm like, no, that's, I, did, I thought that's what it cost, you know? See, and most people would buy an as seen on TV gadget at two <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Sam's out here buying Toyota Soars. Yeah, right hand drive right. from Japan. So it normal. worked out this one and it drives, dude, Again, they will not sell you anything that doesn't it's run. It's like the opposite of the auctions here. There is very high standards <laughs> of the Japanese auto auction. All right, Sam, so out of all the cars that I've seen today, if I was gonna buy one of your pristine typical, dealer lot cars, if. Typical buyer. I if, think it would be the Jaguar. Jaguar is a great choice. I said that But so good. is that blue BMW. No, 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 blue BMW is out. I love Corvettes, but the spec, I'm not afraid of the miles, the spec convertible automatic, eh, just not into it. Um, so yeah, the, the S4 is up there too, but that guy right there really impressed me, especially because of how cheap they are. No one knows about them. It's kind of discreet. I like it. And, uh, so we'll, we'll talk, but at Ooh. the very least, Sam, at the very least, if YouTube, you know, didn't work out for you, you'd make an excellent used car salesman. I thought, yeah, I was gonna say, I thought I was the used car job. salesman after hearing that spiel. I don't know what's <laughs> going on here. If maybe but you know what i gotta first find out if tire this... kicker well yeah don't let him come and buy one of your cars I'll, I'll, tire I'll kicker. kick one of these michelins these are nice that's <laughs> worth a lot of money but yeah i mean i have an auction car that i already bought out here in florida i gotta see how that goes i know too much about it already well we'll see if there's any money left over after fixing that thing for another car so with that i hope you guys enjoyed this lot tour of Mr. Sam Crack's but, collection. We're doing lot tours out we're here. We're doing lot I've tours. I've always this, dreamed of you it. Know, Look at this. You know you're getting big when you got your own lot tour. This right? is we incredible. We don't need to go to the auction. We just come here. And hey, to be fair, we didn't go through every single car. Look, there's no. a truck over there. There's a car behind the truck. We, I think we, we did about we did 20% of the cars you have here. Well, so, Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see another one of these. We'll do another walk around. And now that I'm full time, I can come out to Florida whenever I want. Hey, that's exciting for you. Yeah. I get to live in this beautiful place. I mean, look at this. Look at what I got. Yeah, it's, it's nice. a bunch of junk. Right. Can can somebody please take this away from me, please? Two hundred fifty thousand mile Corvette. My God. Link down below. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, deal. guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Share the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'll link Sam's channel down below. He's Thank trying you. to grow the channel, so please subscribe to Sam Crack as well. Most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.